Awesome. So we are just three steps away from completing the series of how to do a meta regression or meta analysis in R. So previous steps we talked about a lot, you know, how to calculate H U G or Cohen's T and then what information you need for Excel defining and we got here right now if you have a categorical data what to do so if you haven't seen the previous uh, steps i'm gonna add them in the description so you're gonna find them in the description section and watch them one by one because they're gonna make sense of how to do a meta-analysis step by step yeah Meta now. First thing I need to do, I'm gonna show you what data I work on. So I'm gonna click view always to show you what data I work on. So I'm just gonna do that and click control enter. And as you can see, I have something here weird with, yeah, awesome. Works, have something pops up here, but that clears, clears out. So I have three categorical data. And I want to tell R, hey, these are categorical, you know. So basically I have feedback, it has three, two subcategories language proficiency has yeah it has three this one i believe has four so i want to tell r hey i have this categorical data that i want to analyze so basically we'll understand that these are you know categories basically words they are not numbers so how to do that first i'm gonna tell this is the data, little r, it's feedback data, and then I'm gonna do the dollar sign, and once I do the dollar sign, you can see I have options, the dollar sign will say, hey, which one do you want? Say, I want this one, and basically, I'm gonna assign these as A factor so assign as a factor so I have this option say assign as a factor so I usually say assign as a factor like strict yeah so assign as a factor and I will do the same thing say here it's feedback and then the data the dollar sign will show me which um, basically categorical data or chose from the heads of the column which one I want so I want to say which this one and once I do that I want to sh show I want to see if things work great so I'm just gonna click control enter and it seems everything seems to be fine so basically I could do that with all you know I just gonna model to you the second one if you have more than than one just tell R hey here is my data and and by the dollar sign you're gonna say I want this one to be assigned as a factor you do that with every categorical data that you want to analyze until our this is my data set 
and this is the factor that I want to analyze so first one I've done the feedback the second one I did the language proficiency I could do the rest but if you have more than one with each one you could do the categorical data to do with that so that's awesome so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to analyze the sub you know we're gonna go through the subgroup analysis and basically what does it mean subgroup analysis that means that we have you know this one called like subgroup so this is feedback type that has two groups so I'm gonna analyze them two subcategories this is the category so I'm gonna look at these two so subgroup analysis is gonna look at the data whether whether there are a difference or not yeah so make sure to subscribe and watch the previous tutorials so you don't miss any crucial step that you might need in your meta-analysis meta-regression so thank you for watching and see you in another tutorial